Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50ps we're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. Uh, we've got a Q Gardens to get for page number one, and then lots of Olympics to finish our Olympic set. Otherwise, in terms of the more recent releases, we need a Flopsy Bunny to finish that page, and then we're pretty much complete, all the way up to and including the Coronation 50p. And yes, I'm still waiting for my first 2023 new definitive Atlantic Salmon one, so maybe we'll find one today. There is also a link in the description to the books that I use over on Amazon. It's an affiliate link, so I do get a bit of commission if you make a purchase, just so that you're aware. But let's get into these bags and see what we find. Right then, bag number one will open in real time, and I'll show you what we're looking for. So that is the Britannia, the definitive design on 50p's up to and including 2008. It's 2008, which is the low minted uh, year to look out for. Um, after 2008, this became the definitive design, the shield. Um, so there's a few more key dates to look for on this one. There's 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 2021 for the years that didn't circulate, and 2017, which is a low minted circulating year. We've got our first commemorative there. It is Girl Guiding. It's a little bit grubby. Now, Girl Guiding is a very common coin, but in 2019, these 10 coins were restruck for collectors to buy. Uh, weren't put into circulation. As you can see, Girl Guiding is there. So if you find one of those 10 designs, do check the date on the obverse. It shouldn't be dated 2019. Uh, 2010 is the date on this one. So that is an original circulating one, not one of the restrikes. As I said, they shouldn't be in our change, but sometimes they do turn up because someone has broken it out of the packaging and spent it, paid in the bank, whatever. That's another fairly common coin, Diversity Built Britain. Pop that on the top row. And I think that's all for bag number one. Well, we've got a couple of finds. Let's just uh, speed up until we find some more. Coming up, we have a Platinum Jubilee. There's plenty of these put into circulation, but there is an alternative version that didn't get put into circulation with, an, with a, a different obverse. So if we check, that's Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. That's the one that went into circulation. The one that didn't circulate has the Queen on horseback uh, surrounded by a garter. There's Dictionary, which again is a very common circulated coin. And there's Sherlock Holmes, again very common but I do like that design, I think it's a cool coin. Oh, he's a bit grubby. Now, values I put up are based on good quality, good condition coins. This one, I didn't think it was going to buy, but uh, in a decent condition, it's worth a smidge over face value. But uh, sadly, he has had a bit of a tough time in circulation, obviously. Now there's Paddington at the Cathedral there. One of four Paddington designs you can find in your change. There's Jeremy Fisher from 2017's Beatrix Potter set. The ones from 2017, the Beatrix Potter that is, are very, very common though. And there's Battle of Britain. So, this one could be a restrike. It could also be the, um, the wrong portrait of the Queen. So there were some produced for collector's sets as Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait of the Queen. So let's have a look. 2015 JC Jodie Clark fifth portrait. So that's how it should appear in circulation. So sadly not one of the more exciting NIFC versions of that coin. And there's another Paddington, he's at the cathedral in this coin. And 
representation of the people act there and the very common coin but again I do like that design a lot well, we've also got Commonwealth Games coming up again a very common coin it does have the same obverse as a Q guard though, so it can troll you a little bit but uh, very nice to find a Commonwealth Games Oh, UK is entering to the EEC, the 25th anniversary of it. That's quite a nice coin to find. We don't find many of those nowadays. And there's a Mrs. Jiggywinkle. Very cool design. And Beatrix is part of the anniversary. We've got three of the five now. We're missing. Um, ooh, who are we missing? Well, it's Jemima Puddle Duck and Squirrel Nutkin. If we can find those two, that would be very, very cool. Victoria Cross, Heroic Act. Could this be a restrike? Sadly not. It's not dated 2019. Oh, 2017 will be something. 2017 Shield, there we go. One of the key dates we look for. I don't always spot the key dates as we're going through the hunt. This is why I'm splitting out the Britannias from the Shield, so that at the end of the video I can just whiz through them and check. There is a Christopher Ironside. We like Christopher Ironsides. They're very, very common, but uh, we share a name, so I do keep them all for some crazy reason. Another Battle of Britain. Could this be an NIFC? Nope, 2015, Jodie Clark, fifth portrait, sadly. There's a diversity put Britain again. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. We do check the date at the bottom, 31st of January 2020. That's how it should appear. Allegedly, there are some with uh, the alternative dates that Brexit was planned to happen on that didn't get melted down and made it into our change. Not that I have seen any. And there's Benjamin Bunny, the most common circulating commemorative 50p. Check for the rotation error though, sadly not on him. Ooh, very nice, Taekwondo. Lovely, lovely stuff, the Masters coin. Now, I still can't recall yet how uh, which of the Olympics we have and haven't already got in the book, so that could be a new one for the book. We've still got too many Olympics for my poor little sieve of a brain to uh, keep track of what's new and what's not. Oh, public library's there. It's a little bit battered, but uh, there we go. It's another one we haven't had today. Let me start this bag with the dictionary again. Twenty sixteen would be something. Squirrel nutkin. There we go. We just need your mama puddle duck. Then we've got all five of the twenty sixteen Beatrix Potters, which would be kind of cool. But puddle duck is the rarest of that little set. Oh, very nice. Suffragettes. We haven't had many suffragettes recently, and that is in glorious condition, isn't it? Very, very nice. Well, there we go. Very cool coins come across. 
And another Benjamin Bunny, not so exciting. Unless he's got a rotation error, then very exciting. But no, no rotation error, sadly. Oh, that's not a 50p. It's a 50, but not a 50p. It's 50 foreign from Hungary. Oh dear. How's that got into uh, a bag of 50ps? Not good. Oh, Olympic number two. That's very good. Um, it's not very often we find an Olympic 50p, let alone two in one hunt. Boxing. We've got two of the fighting coins. There's another squirrel nutkin. Sadly not the powder dog we need to complete the set. Right then, last bag of the hunt. We've got loads of finds today. It's quite exciting. Some really nice ones too. Potentially new ones for the book. Uh, 2017 again with something. Jeremy Fisher. Very cool. Uh, but as ever, in the description of this video, there's a link link across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. We've got Diversity of Britain again there. Uh, there's also links to my other social media channels. The PO Box address if you want to write in to me. Another Diversity of Britain. Promise. Uh, there's also a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please do go and check their channel out too. Well, commemoratives have all been pulled out. What I'm going to do now is whiz through the coins off to the side and see if there's any key dates that I've missed. In terms of key dates, then we have got one 2008 Britannia. It's a little bit grubby, but still a cool find. And then two additional, whoops, focus, 2017 Shields. So I'll, I'll counter these up to three for the hunt. One new coin for the book that was Olympic Taekwondo down the middle bottom there, which uh, helps us to start filling out this page a little bit more. In terms of our star finds, then I think mm, I've got to put the EEC in there as well. I think that's what I would pick. Uh, one of these, probably the Taekwondo, just purely because it's a new one for the book. But I'd love to know in the comments what you would pick as your star find from today's video. And all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.